Systems Commission study into naval heat recovery in warships propulsion systems could indicate type 83 warship capability, a step change on from the in-service type 45 dot normally associated with space domain propulsion. UK-based reaction engines has been selected by UK Defense Prime BE Systems to carry out a study into the potential use of its heat exchanger technology for waste heat recovery and exhaust cooling for naval ships. Announcing the move on August 22nd, reaction engine stated that its lightweight, low-volume heat exchangers can be used to increase the efficiency of naval vessels and operated with existing diesel engines and gas turbine propulsion systems, as well as next-generation hydrogen and hybrid electric alternatives. Oliver Naylard, business development manager, Reaction Engines, said the investigation, seeks to demonstrate significant energy efficiency improvements and reduced emissions, while potentially offering reduced thermal signature for operational. Benefits Heat recovery technology in the Type 83 The move by BE Systems to commission a study into the use of energy recovery technologies for use in the naval domain has potentially been taken with one eye on the future, both in terms of expected naval propulsion configurations but also, perhaps, future warships that the company may be tasked with delivering. Central to this may well be the future Type 83 destroyer, part of the wider future air dominance system, FADS, program that will deliver a range of technologies to provide a next-generation naval air defense capability. The Type 83 is a natural follow-on from the in-service Type 45 destroyers, a class of warships that have experienced issues earlier in their operational life when operating in hot and humid environments such as the Middle East, including purported overheating of intercooler systems. Type 45 and overheating issues the Type 45 class was originally delivered with an innovative integrated electric propulsion system to produce the ship's power when underway, focused around two WR-21 Rolls-Royce gas turbines. However, repeated issues of loss of power of Type 45 warships while underway saw the UK Ministry of Defense undertake the Power Improvement Project, or PP, which sees the installation of new diesel engines into the six Type 45 destroyers, changing the propulsion configuration to a more conventional combined diesel and gas, or Kodak system. The gas turbines will then be used to generate additional top-up power generation for sprint speeds, thereby reducing the wear on sensitive subsystems. However, the exploration of technologies that could harness or more effectively distribute excess heat produced by whatever engine configuration will power the future Type 83 class could well indicate a potential technological direction under consideration.